Hey everybody, Jamie Seabrook here. Um, I'm in Grand Serenus uh, all-inclusive resort in Mexico. Just uh, have a couple days left and try to get a little bit of time out of the sun because as you can see, I've got a lot of uh, sun over the last few weeks and thought I'd um, have some chill time and did a quick search on YouTube, see if anything's up in Kempo these days and wham, what, what pops up? It's a video called, Is Kempo Useless? a deep dive in the pros and cons. And it is by um, the Inside Fighting 1841. So why am I responding? A lot of you'd say, don't even bother to respond. Uh, I was on the video as were uh, a lot of other uh, great Kempoists. And, but that's besides the point. I, I, I have to respond to this. I have to respond because I have to defend uh, the art that I love so much. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to say is it was um, the the person's uh, that that person who put this video together. I believe his name is uh, Elon, um, lifelong martial artist. Uh, is in his uh, biography uh, greater than 20 years. 20 years is a long time, but that doesn't make you a lifelong martial artist. I'm just going to say that uh, I've been doing this 38 years now, and I don't consider myself lifelong yet. F lifelong, you're talking about 50 years. So uh, 20 years. Uh, that's great, Elon. Uh, great work. Uh, keep it up, brother. I have no hard feelings towards you, but that's not a lifelong martial artist. You don't have enough experience to be talking about Kempo, okay? Unless you've been training it long enough, uh, which is not your background. Um, so here, here, here's my response to some of the, the comments that were made. The first is, um, uh, you know, he, he makes a lot of comments throughout the videos um about um uh, you know the the rapid hand speed of kempo and the um the continual strikes although at the same time he says that you know any one of those shots would have ended the fight you have to go on and on and on we agree we agree um however in kempo uh we have follow-up moves uh if necessary so unlike some of the japanese okinawan arts that you know that really you know give the idea of you know one strike one kill in American Kempo, we have follow-up moves if necessary. Okay, the video is specific to American Kempo, so I'm gonna I'm gonna comment on that. So, yes, techniques that go on for you know 10, 12, 15, 18 seconds. Of course, it would not go all that way. But we have all those moves to show how to improve our skill level, how to improve our Kempo, and how to follow up with moves if necessary. Also, some of those moves that might be in the middle or the latter part of the techniques can also be used at the beginning of the techniques. They just happen to be shown, whether it's an extension or whatnot, of what you could do as a follow-up. Uh, however, many of those moves could be moves onto themselves. So let me just say that. Um, uh, some of the comments about uh, the 5.0, I don't train uh, Kempo 5.0. Uh, it was complimentary, complimentary although he said, why not just do jujitsu? Uh, Kempo cannot improve jujitsu. Um, you know, so here's the thing. Kempo is a, is a striking art. So what I can say um, is that, um, you know, Kempo 5.0, you know, other people too who've looked into uh, enhancing their Kempo by improving the ground ground game, people like uh, uh, Muhammad Tabatabai, um, and myself, who tra has been training Gracie Jiu-Jitsu since January 2012, we have tried to uh, take um, the missing piece of American Kempo, which we believe is what to do on the ground, and learn what to do to bring that back to our students. That's a huge benefit to American Kempo, certainly not a con. Um, there were some com comments also, uh, a couple of my sparring videos, and uh, and the individual Elon was saying, you know, um, I was pulling back on my strikes, pulling back on my strikes. And then he complimented uh, uh, that I gave a liver shot to someone. Um, uh, but, you know, the thing about it is, is that is that when you spar, if you're constantly not, um, if you're constantly injuring your, your, your partner, that is not the way to have a lifelong, you, you mentioned your 20 years experience. If you want to do this for the rest of your life, Elon, you cannot be constantly injuring your 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 partner. Um, so when you're when you were when you're criticizing my sparring, saying he's pulling back, he's pulling back, and that's a bad thing. Um, going full contact is very easy. I've I I can't tell you how many full contacts I've fights I've had with extremely limited rules. 
um, and it was extremely easy transition. So whether I am pulling back my punches based on the experience or the skill level of the person I'm fighting, uh, or I'm going full contact with someone because you're trying to take my head off, I'm trying to take their head off, it's an easy transition. So it's not a bad practice. Um, I am going to fight to the skill level of the person that I'm fighting. Okay, so I have to say this in response uh, to Inside Fighting, that's Elon, and that is a really good instructor with high skill will beat and defeat uh, the people he's fighting by this much. If you have to constantly uh, break their ribs, knock them down, make them quit just because my skill level is so much higher, that is not skill level on my level. The best instructors can beat the people they're fighting by just a bit to bring out the best in them. So that is what I'm con continuously doing with the people that I fight. So I don't, to be really frank, buy your comment on the sparring as well. Um, so all that to say, whether you know you're, you know, you know you you watch, you put on some demos of some some great people too. That um, although I, I I've only met a few times in in Kempo, I highly respect. And you mentioned it was to 1980s, I think it was the comment. It was a demo. So it was a demo and people are watching. So it's going to be spiffed up. It's going to be more commercial. That's fun stuff. Uh, that's not necessarily always the way we train. So I would say this to Elon, that if you're going to criticize something in martial arts, be sure that you have plenty of years of experience taking that before you make that criticism. And that is really real. That is something that I've learned over the years. And you see, I have a jujitsu shirt on too, Elon. Again, I've been training Gracie jujitsu for um, uh, since January 2012. Highest respect for jujitsu, but highest respect for American Kempo. In my opinion, American Kempo is the most complete martial art that there is. Um, and I love training alongside in uh, Kempo and Gracie jujitsu because Kempo has forms, it has sets, it has self defense techniques has blocking, kicking, punching, coordination drills, has uh, countless, uh, 154 plus an additional three self-defense techniques for every attack imaginable, has 96 extensions, has weapons. And then the jujitsu takes the situation of what do we do if the person takes us to the ground and they're bigger, they're stronger, they're heavier than us. So what I do is I take that Gracie jujitsu to improve the Kempo, but just like jujitsu, and you should know this because I see that you're a black belt in BJJ, uh, certainly I hope that you don't go uh, choking people out that are brand new white belt and breaking their arm and arm bars because that's not the way to keep people in jiu-jitsu. You beat them, but you give them the resistance that's equivalent to the skill level that they're at. And if you do that and they gain confidence, then you increase your resistance. So some of your comments on American Kempo are just not are just not founded in reality. So, um, hey, you know what? Cool video. Um, no hard feelings, but got to counter you on that one. Uh, you want to respond? I'm good for a response. Ciao. Bye.